Hi there, happy Tuesday. Um, this week, because we're entering into the whole fall season, yesterday, for, yesterday was just Labor Day for us here and all those things and transitioning into the school and into a new season coming up in a bit, all those lovely things. I thought it would be a good time to talk about transitions. Um, excuse my raspy voice. <laughs> we did go to an amusement park over the weekend, so I was screaming a whole lot <laughs> on the roller coasters. <laughs> And so, yeah, so pardon the um, still two days later, <laughs> raspy voice from that. Um, so anyway, so back to transitions. And I'm going to ask you to, um, for those of you that do have kids going back to school, also translating this over to um, them as well, that, you know, as a parent, making sure that these things, these tips are not only for you, but they are also for your kids as well. Um, so the first thing to keep in mind is, transitions are rough they of any change in life means changing from something to something else which means there's a loss there's something you're giving up there is some type of loss and so it does make sense um and it is completely normal and common and all those things to feel a little bit of that to feel a loss to feel a little down to feel a little bit less energy, less mood. It's not not everybody, but I'm, I'm just saying if you're one of those or your kids are one of those, just keep that in mind that, that, that any transition equals loss and loss oftentimes equals sadness. So keep that in mind. And so the way to handle these types of things is making sure that you have some patience and compassion. And again, this isn't just for your kids, but this is for you too, having some self-compassion that if you're struggling through the, through the transition, Yes, you know, you've been here before and maybe your work schedule doesn't change, but everything else does or maybe nothing for you changes, but just things around you do the weather itself, maybe depending on where you are, just know that any transitional space um, to be able to have some patience, slow down, have some patience and some compassion. And the best way to be able to conjure up the energy for self patience and compassion and <clears throat> patience and compassion for others as well is to make sure that this is not the time to drop your mindfulness exercise. This is not the time to drop your self-care. If you're you know, going to the gym or taking art classes or whatever that is, whatever your self-care routine is and whatever your mindfulness routine is, please, 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 please. It's so easy societally to say, I just don't have time for that. Except no, that those are priorities. Those are part of your mental health. This is how you take care of your brain and organ in the body so making sure that you're taking care of your body and your brain so that you have the energy for this loss for this transition for this change for everything else and so with this patience and compassion for yourself and for those around you means taking a moment to you know be with them that patience also means having presence with them being mindful with them so noting um you know some things that kids might need is they might need that decompression time after they get out of school before jumping into homework before jumping into other activities you know like many of us when we get done with work we just need that time to decompress before shifting into home mode our kids are no different. And so making sure that they have that time and again, taking the self care and mindfulness, you know, making that a priority before figuring out the rest of your lifestyle before figuring out what all these extras are going to be before making sure that there's time for this necessity for you and the necessity for your kids to have some time to decompress, to have whatever their self-care exercises, whatever your self-care exercises, whatever your mindfulness or appreciation exercises are, making sure that they don't fall away simply because there's more things in the schedule and making them a priority when deciding what your schedule looks like. I know this can be a challenging one, especially for those that choose to have very full activity filled lives. And so I know that this can be a touchy subject and this can, but, but I'm going to encourage you to please, please, please consider finding ways 
to keep that, again, mindfulness doesn't take any extra time. That's something you do while you're living life and taking your self care and making sure that you block time for that for you as well as those in your family. Another tip if you are a parent is expect some regression. It just happens with transitions, your kids may regress in age and, and maturity and all that kind of stuff just for a little while. Um, oftentimes it's just, you know, their brain is also getting used to so many new things. And so they, it, they kind of, it takes some of that energy towards, you know, working to be mature and all of those things. And it kind of regresses back a little bit. So expect that, that that itself also is normal, can be expected. It's very, very common for your kids to, regardless of age, to regress during a transition. So just know, and, and again, have patience and compassion for that if that does happen. And it usually only lasts a little while. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about, and I will see you next week. Have a great, great week. Bye-bye.